Hey everybody, welcome to the channel if you're a new subscriber or if you're returning, um, here's another how-to video on how to make your own CDs by burning music. So um, first things first, you're going to need your CD. Um, I suggest the Memorex uh, CDR, 700 megabytes with 80 minutes of um, song available that you can put on there. And um, we're going to get started with a program that I use and it's probably the easiest one that I've ever used. And um, I've kept it for a long time because after using so many I've realized, hey, this is probably the easiest one. Um, it's called CD Burner XP. Um, I, I know it says XP, you might think, oh, Windows XP, but I'm using Windows 7, so that really doesn't make a difference. Um, we're going to be, be uh, focused on making musical CDs right now, so we're not going to focus on these, but I, uh, I'm just going to go through them to show you. You can burn data to the disk, um, you can do video. So if you want to make like a DVD, um, you can burn ISO images if you would like to make like a bootable disc or something like that, um, copy or grab and erase. But today we're going to be focused on audio disc. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and hit audio disc once you download the program and install it. And you're going to hit OK. So what it's going to do is it's going to bring up um, basically the menu for making your own CD. Now right here it's going to show your libraries, your name, um, your computer network, basically a bunch of drop down menus so then you can navigate to the folder which contains all the music that you want to drop. Um, for me personally I just keep everything in downloads, makes it a lot easier and it's going to show all of the songs right up here. Um, so what you want to do is you're going to just drag and drop, very simple. Um, you're going to drag and drop all the songs you want. Um, you can put them ahead of other songs, you can put them first, you can put them last. However you want to do it, um, that's perfectly fine. It's going to make no big difference other than in what order the song comes in. So once you insert your disc and you're going to select what disc drive you have, I only have one, um, you're going to make just one copy unless you want to make more, but usually people want to just do one CD. And it's going to show you down here in this uh, little bar, it's going to show you how many songs that you have plus how much time it's taking up. This red bar right here is the cutoff for the CD so you can add songs until you get to that red bar which means you've run out of space and storage. So we're going to go ahead and um, just hit burn. Like I said, very simple, very easy. So you're going to go ahead and hit burn. It's going to give you a bunch of options um, depending on how fast your actual DVD burner is or CD burner is going to get um, different options for this. I just choose the fastest one, obviously. Um, you could do a pause for two second tracks if you would like. Um, you can enable CD text. Um, these features don't really change the songs other than if you want to add a two second uh, delay in between the end of one song and the beginning of another. Um, you could eject the disc after burning, which I use because then I could hear it and I know that the disc is done. Um, I'm not sure what finalized disc does, honestly. Um, if anyone in the comment wants to uh, kind of give some information on what finalized disc is, that would be nice. Uh, you can shut down. I don't shut down. Um, simulate burning process. I've never actually clicked that. I don't know what that does either. But we're going to go ahead and hit burn disc. Now what this is going to do is it's going to add the tracks to the audio image, which is the first step right before it burns uh, CDs. And uh, like I said, um, while we're burning this, I'll just give you some other information about CD Burner XP. Um, like I said, you could do DVDs if you would like. Um, so if you want to burn movies to disc, well, then you could put them in your DVD player, Blu-ray, um, whatever you want to do, you can go ahead and do that. Um, data discs are more for storage of files. It's like a uh, kind of like an older flash drive, I would say. Not a lot of people use CDs as data storage anymore. They usually use cloud base storage or they usually use flash drives but if you want to burn data to a disk go ahead no one's stopping you. Um, see now it's burning the disk right here. It takes a little time to uh, start up but other than that um, that's pretty much how you burn an audio CD. Uh, if you want to burn ISO images so if you want to have like a bootable disk in a Ubuntu or um, any other uh, Linux distros or if you choose to have like a uh, recovery disk. That's very common, a Windows recovery disk. Um, then you can do that. Um, but other than that, uh, there's also options for like deleting the actual CD, um, all the information off the CD, or you can copy a CD, grab information off of the CD, any of that. But 
other than that, um, that's pretty much what the program does. It's kind of like an all-in-one little bundle. Uh, I highly suggest it. As you can see, it's easy, simple to use for any user. Um, it's fast. Uh, I don't know if the type of CD or CD burner I have makes it this slow. I think this is personally fast um, for burning. But if anyone has any um, ideas on how it would go faster, like, hey, maybe this um, CD burner works faster or this CD works faster, I guess, then um, go ahead and drop it in the comments, help us all out. But other than that, basically once this is done burning, it's just going to eject the disk and it's going to say burning complete and then you exit out of the program. So um, other than that, that's all it takes to burn an audio CD. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you and I will see you in the next how-to video.